everybody, and welcome to a KTS series review. Today, we will be doing a review on the four Eleven Ninjago Battle Packs. Each of these Battle Packs come with a little spinner in a different color, which works like this. You put the minifigure on, and then you can roll it around like this to make them do spinjitsu, which is very cool. They also each come with these little elemental weapons in different colors. Right here, fire nunchucks, an earth sword, lightning scythe, ice shurikens. They all come with them in different colors to match their elements. Very cool. The first battle pack we'll look at is Calls. Hmm. Before we look at the main build, this little side build here, it's just a little table with a possessed hot dog or an expired hot dog. This set comes with two of them, but one of them is an extra piece. It's really funny how Cole keeps coming with these green hot dogs. Closer look at it. Let's look at the table. And here's the rest of the build. Looks very nice. It represents a part of the city of sticks. And cooking area. Has a crate with a single egg in it. it has a pot and it has some room for me figure to stand behind this little counter to sell things. It has this nice little giant ghostly lamp that can shake back and forth. And it's really nice architecture. The main fakes that come with it are just a random ghost who wields this little pitchfork or rake. This is the legacy form of a ghost. Looks really cool. I like the mask, the legacy mask in these colors. Dark blue and purple. And then underneath, this is his ghostly face. Let me show you more of that printing up close. Got like a evil yin and yang symbol on his back. Rip tattered up clothes. And he has the ghost swirly legs. Then here's Cole. Looks very cool. My favorite of the four um, ninja in these battle packs. The instructions say to give him this earth scythe piece with a dragon hilt. The orange and black look really cool. He's a half mask, which allows him to have his hair on. His two faces, a little grumpy one, and then a smile. Very nice. Next up, we have Kai's. The little extra build here is a training dummy. It can spin around, and you could probably just hit it around or give it a weapon to help the ninja train. The main build is this nice little architecture piece right here. It looks really beautiful with those special colored leaves in yellow. The colors look really nice. It has this little area to stand a minifigure or a weapon if you want, like so. The minifigures that come in this is just a generic skeleton, presumably a lightning one since it has the blue um, loincloth piece. Nice shoulder pieces and hat. This reminds me of Whip Lash. Comes with a silver paper sword. And we have Kai. Looks really nice with his outfit. He has the special season 14 hairpiece from the new island sets. 
looks really nice. And he has two faces and determined one and then a happy one. Next up is Zane, which might have the coolest build. This is just a little factory here and it has a ninjoid being built. It looks really nice. Those ninjoid colors and everything. You can have this little thing here and pretend that it's like placing down a ninjoid onto the red bumpers. Very cool. You have them connected to and have it in different ways like this, this, or this. Or just have them separate. For minifigures, we have, of course, the ninjoid. It looks really cool, this legacy ninja right here. He comes with no mask, and is with a, has only one face print, since he has nothing to cover up the back. It looks very cool and detailed. Look the shininess on him. He wields a buzzsaw. And then, we got Zane. Very cool. Comes with his post, um, Sons of Gone on hairpiece and silver. He wheels eye shurikens. Very nice detail on his chest. Nice and shiny. He has no um, second face printing on the back. Because of the way the hair is. And his normal face has him um, looking pretty angry at someone. Very cool minifigure. We have Jay's battle pack. Comes with this really nice looking snake here. Looks really cool with the gold and everything. You could move the head around, but it's, just, it's best if it just stays like that. It has these pieces of bamboo growing here. It's very nice. The little side build has more bamboo, but you can knock it over with the snake or jay. Very nice. This mini finger right here is Legacy Rattla. Looks very cool with the blue and the used. He does not have two faces, but has nice printing on the back of his head. He's a Hitler Bride, so he has those nice mind controlling eyes. He's a very detailed, looks really good. Then we have Jay. Who's in this tiger print bathrobe thing kind of outfit? How do the instructions say for you to give him this lightning nunchuck? This hair is the post of the going on hair piece. And he has two face expressions. One relaxed, happy face, I guess, and then one determined. Very nice. All of the ninja actually have this versus symbol on their outfits. On the back of them and on the front. Very cool, you know, have to keep that um, the same around all of them. Overall, I think all four of these battle packs are extremely worth it. Come with amazing mini figures, bad guys for them to fight, and then tons of these weapon pieces, elemental weapons. It's so very cool. The builds are awesome. Oh, having these masks and all these colors, I don't think I've ever seen one in this orange before. And you get extra of each mask. Then, of course, the hot dog, really important. Yeah, I get these a right, rank of an A. Really good and worth it.